All right, guys, so now you see we have some towels and we have the gloves here. So I'm just gonna go through like example, if I had a patient, how I would set up their physical kind of treatment in terms of the getting the towels ready uh, with the gloves in order to be conductive in order to help uh, do the therapy. So again, you wear the towels, you wring them out. Um, so you don't wanna keep them too wet. You wanna use kind of a lukewarm, warm water, but not too, too hot for a patient. Um, and then at the same time, sometimes what I like to do is actually I wet the gloves on top of wet towel just to make sure that they're they are a little bit wet so they can conduct um, effectively and efficiently so example this bigger towel this would be an example of what I would use maybe on the neck so I put the glove in the middle with the wire hanging to the side and then I would roll that up or fold it up um, so you have it more kind of tube like and then I would be able to wrap that around somebody's neck as you can see kind of like that and I still have my cord to the side where I would actually hook onto the machine to make it easier. Um, say then I wanted to kind of work on, then the belly is an example. So this is a smaller towel. Of course, you can use different sizes depending on what you're, you're utilizing it for. But again, wet towel, I'd wring it out. That's lukewarm water to warm water. Sometimes, like I said, I'd wet the glove a little bit just to make sure that it's conductive. And then for this one, simply you can fold it again. You can fold it even just in a half if you needed to. Because this, maybe I would put this on the belly of a smaller person or even a child in a sense. Um, and then we would connect, of course, both of these wires. So this, this side, the red, was the, the positive lead. And this side is the negative lead. And we'd hook it up to our machine here. Where we have positive for the red. And then negative uh, for the blue. And then depending if we're doing anything specific where we have an alternating current or a polarized current, then it really does depend where we put our both our leads. But for simplistic uh, uh, sense, in a simplistic sense, we're just going to say this is over our neck, this is over our abdomen. Now we can run a protocol, say example for the vagus nerve. So that's how we use kind of the, the towels. And sometimes just with this, you can realize, um, sometimes you'll see that it's not connecting with the machine. And that means that this area here, those lights would turn on they turn on one of those leads is not connecting to the machine so that could mean that maybe the gloves aren't wet in order for them to connect with the person and actually connect back to the machine so the first thing i would do is kind of wet the gloves or wet towels if they got too dry in order to see if there's a connection again the connection would then be that none of these lights would turn on if it turns on it's a red flag saying something's not connected the leads not active so the whole point is to go and check that out but that's the simplest thing you'll probably come into in terms of when you're trying to start it up so now uh, another way to kind of connect to a patient without physical towels is actually using the push pin uh, connections so here in the newer models of the machine so this is the lcd model the push pins in the past there were four separate ones two for the negative and two for the positive as you can see here but now with this newer model uh, the newer kind of connections you can actually connect both uh, say positive terminals together to create kind of one glove and both of course negative terminals together to create the second glove and then with these you can actually input them into the gel pads or the adhesive pads sticky pads so again and then just like you would gloves put it, putting them on your body you can stick these anywhere um, is specific towards the therapy so if you had shoulder pain you can put one on the shoulder and one maybe towards the elbow if it's going down your arm or same kind of idea if you're working on the on the belly you can put one in the front of the belly and one on the lower back in order to work say example on the small intestine so that makes it much more easier instead of having to use four whole pads and trying to make them make sure that they crisscross properly so you're getting the proper connection so with these what i do uh just to the side because you can reuse them for the same person of course is that i wet the area of the per of the body part or you can wet it yourself and then stick them on just to make sure that they're stinking well so that you can physically get a connection and then the machine's telling you that there is a connection by not having the red lights turn on that means that when the lights are not turned on up here that there's a connection happening um the last thing you can do here too is then in terms of connecting to a person is you can use these 
alligator clips. So this would be simple. You would hook them on to kind of here with the push pin pads. Once you have them hooked on, then you can kind of just, if you're using, if you want to use a towel or something of that nature, clip them onto the towel. That's how simple it is. So you would do that for, you would have two kind of separate towels to be able to hook them on, to put them on two different areas of the body that you're trying to uh, work on or a specific area and you're trying to work on it uh, in a more specific sense. So that's the basics of just some of the physical accessories and how to use them or how to kind of apply them. So hopefully that is a little bit more understandable, but then I'll now show you how we can actually use um, the physical machine or the device in order to kind of optimize uh, treatment.